stereo. Um, hi guys, uh, it's great to be back again. Uh, my name is Cameron Saul. Hi, I'm Oliver Wayman. And we are Bottle Top. We were here September of last year and um, we're a charity uh, which supports grassroots education projects which empower young people um, around the very delicate areas of sexual and reproductive health, uh, drug abuse and gender equality primarily. Um, we support projects in Malawi, Rwanda, Brazil and here in the UK and uh, we also empower people um, with skills and employment in a bid to alleviate poverty in those areas and just hand over to Ollie. I'm going to give you a quick background on the project which we presented to the funding network last year. Um, this is actually all based on bags, belts and accessories made from recycled ring pulls from the Tossi County. Now the catalyst behind this whole project was from a guy called Luciano and um, he's based in North East Brazil in Salvador and he actually had the idea of setting up the training programme, teaching people from his community how to make these products. And um, I mean these were people who had virtually no form of income, at best they would be low paid and badly treated housemaids and at worst prostitutes. So um, we, began, we, we began providing them with materials and weekly lessons and they were soon making products of real quality which the charity could buy from them and sell overseas. And um, this is the point when we came to the funding network. We literally had 10 people trained, making approximately 200 bags a month. <laughs> Since then, the funding we received enabled us to train, we've now got up to 42 people trained, making, and we've sold over 3,000 products a day. And um, this, is, this has just been um, incredible. I mean, it's, it's far beyond our, our greatest expectations. Um, you know, we, we went to visit the project earlier in the year, in, in February of this year, and I can safely say it was the most inspiring and, and fulfilling thing we've, we've ever done. And um, thank you for, for giving us the opportunity to have um, expanded the project there. Um, if you haven't already done so, I would urge you all to buy yourselves an early Christmas present, or a loved one an early Christmas present, because um, you know we have got a few special edition products in tonight. Um, with your help, we hope to repl replicate similar projects to this across the world, showcasing fantastic products, um, highlighting the vibrant cultures that exist in different communities, but most importantly, giving poor people the opportunity to work their way out of poverty. I'm going to show you a quick, quick video to help you visualise what I've been talking about and show you the latest with the project now. Um, let's have a look. Luciano! Hey, Dave! I'm going to do well to see you, man! <laughs> so we've just received a whole new batch of ring Think about 50 kilos. So now the process begins of separating the good ones from the bad ones. And the colours from the silver, so then we'll be washing them. The craft of recycling ring pulls into stylish bags is teaching people new skills, enabling them to earn money and support their families. She was really broke. She's found the bottle top and now she's quite yourself. Really well. yeah. And then it's very happy and excited because that's a new thing that they're doing. A lot of those people never really had a chance of work for anybody. So hopefully we can sell more bags in England to give more people a chance here to even get involved. Well, this means a lot for us, especially for the workers in our community to make it. There is a lot of employment down here in Salvador. And now they, their own boss, like they make the bags. They decided how many bags they want to make the money. And they know that there is a lot of people in England who really like the bags. Without his work, it, this wouldn't exist. We wouldn't be here. We, there wouldn't be a 
project here. We wouldn't have any control on how what, what was made. We wouldn't have any control on what they pay the workers. We wouldn't have any control on, on anything. So you just don't know what we're getting on that front. Because it, we're basically helping out the middleman and being able to create it ourselves and really see every single line of the production process come into place and be able to, to get the best out of it for all. And um, you know, without him, none of that would be possible. And you're just great. It's like the proud of all we do because we start from the beginning. We had nothing, just all of it came with this idea, and then we decided to set up and just do it as well. So I'm very proud of what we are doing together. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we're now. Oh, thank you. I'm going to cut in there because I think I know the time's tight. Um, as Ollie said, we're up to 42 people now trained in the community. We're, we've got the, the, the demand is there, and we're really pushing to try and double this to 100 people by the end of next year, which will then in turn enable us to go on and support more of our education programs. So please grab us in the interval if you want to buy anything or know any more about the charity with boffertop.org. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.